The Let's Talk Mom to Mom Beauty Conference is coming to my hometown, New York City. Get your tickets now. Don't miss us. Hello, everyone. Thank you for tuning into my channel. So today I'm coming to you with a favorites video. It's not like a monthly favorite or how would I even categorize this? Some, some of my loves have asked me about my favorite edge tamers or edge controls, my favorite moisturizers, and where I got my bonnet from. And so I decided I'll make a video answering the question because, um, yeah, <laughs> I get asked the question a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. So um, I'll start with my bonnet because it's just, you know, easier. But my bonnet is from Florbella Boutique. I've had this bonnet forever. It's satin. It is reversible. So if you want to wear it on the other side, that's an option too. But I always wear it with the black side showing. It is stretched out. It's very, very stretched out because I've had it for a very long time. So I can fit my faux locks into it like this and go to sleep. Um, yeah, so that's my bonnet. It's from Florbella Boutique. It's real satin. Um, I will put the link in the description box if you want to get one um, and support her black-owned business sister, you know. So that's where I got my bonnet from. So I have a review on that bonnet. I will definitely make sure it pops up over here if it hasn't already so that you can see it. It's like an old video. It's super old. But yeah, that's the only bonnet that I've ever worn. I ever wear now since since that and it's been keeping my hair really good so the next one I get is edge control so in a few videos maybe like the last three like tutorials I've shared with you all that I don't lay my edges down it's not a big thing for me I know for some people they love to get very creative and they like to style their edges doing all type of like really neat things with it from like swishes and swirlies to um, finger wave effects and I don't I don't do that I don't lay my edges down so most of the time you will see my edges and they will look really really frizzy that's just how it is um, and I also have the type of hair that even when I do use an edge tamer it's not going to be extremely long-lasting it's not going to last 24 hours that's just not a realistic expectation for my hair and there are people who probably get 24 hours I don't know who those people are but maybe you do and maybe some people get more like eight hours so you can like go to work and by the time you get off your shift your hair should be still laid down for me it's probably closer to maybe like six hours where I can lay my edges down with an edge tamer if it's a good one if it's one of my favorites that I'm gonna show you in a second I can get like six good hours out of it but then my edges do you know come undone so that I'm just basing it off of my experiences with other edge controls and how they've done so I'm not saying that I don't like any other edge tamers, but right now, these are my two favorites. I have mentioned favorites in the past, but for right now, I'm exclusively talking about these two because um, sometimes people will say, so you don't use blah, blah, blah anymore, or you don't like blah anymore, and I'm not saying that I don't like you know, any others that I may have talked about in the past. I'm just letting you know that as of right now, today, 2016, August 2016, or September depending on when you see this video these are the two that I really really like so this is the cream of nature argan oil perfect edges and this has a very uh, sticky waxy pomade consistency uh, you can see that I've used up a good amount of it so it does get utilized I also really like it on my daughter's edges as well and I keep this one in my downstairs bathroom so it gets used by me if I'm styling my hair downstairs in my home, which happens most of the time because my office is down here and so on. And then my second favorite currently is the Eden Body Works. This is their Coconut Shea Control Edge Glaze. And I keep this one in my upstairs bathroom, which is where my bedroom is. So this one does get used as well. I'm sure if you can see it. But, um... This one is upstairs whenever I'm doing my hair, like in the morning, in the bathroom there. But most of the time I will be in the, you know, downstairs. So this is my second favorite. These are the two that actually do lay my edges down and will keep them laid for about six hours or so. But like I said, I'm not going to be able to get full day hold 
and I also mentioned to you that I really don't like to lay my edges down honestly so why do I even use them why have they even been used Janelle if you don't like to lay your edges down so you know how you guys use gel like you use equal styler gel and you'll like put it all over your hair and then brush your hair back and put it back into a ponytail or into a top knot or or whatever I don't use gel because the gels don't actually work for me in that way and I use more of the edged controls for that so over the summer when I was wearing my flat twisted crown I've just put out a tutorial about that so you can click here to watch that tutorial but this is what I would use to lay the front hairs back a little bit so they're a li little more smoother and then I'll proceed to put my hair in the flat twist crown so it's not so much of like I want to lay all my edges down and I'm trying to like stylize them and and all of that my baby hairs it's more so I want the entire look to be more smoother and I will put the edge tamer there and I'll brush it um, but when I wear my twist outs I don't I don't lay my edges down that's just it's just not a look I'm going for and um, you know braid outs or whatever but if I am gonna put my hair up in a top knot or something I will use like an edge tamer to smooth up the hair before I put it up in a top knot because if I do it with a gel it's just it's just not gonna work okay enough about edge tamers because there's two other products I want to show you in um, the twist out category so I know that summer is over and I probably should have put this out forever ago, but I didn't. I'm sorry. But you can keep this information for next summer, or you can still try out these products because they're good products and they are not necessarily only for summer. However, when it comes to summer twist outs, we do, as naturals, we know the struggle. Humidity is insane and if you live in climates where it's humid for more than just the summer then you would definitely be uh, you will definitely benefit from these products but if here in New York City it's it's primarily humid like in the summer for the most part so for that reason the products that I use in my hair in the winter spring and even the fall for my twist outs they don't necessarily yield the same level of curl definition as these products do so I'll start with this one this is the Cantu Beauty Shea Butter Coconut Curling Cream. And I used this product forever ago <laughs> in a love it or leave it video. This was before we moved here, before Elle was even born, I think. And um, I talked about how I really like the product. Like, it smells amazing. Oh, it smells like fresh coconut. Well, not like coconut. It smells more like pina colada. Yeah, it smells more like pina colada than coconut. I haven't used it in a very long time. And then one of my loves reminded me about the product because she asked me, like, did I use it? And you can see this is one that I bought. It has the sticker here. It's like this is probably the same one that I bought like three years ago. And um, when she asked me, like, do you still use it? I was just like, oh, my goodness, I haven't. Because sometimes it's not like for me, I would say. I don't fall out of love with products and then stop using them because they I hate them. That's not that's not I don't think that happens to like a lot of people. Like a product that I loved 3 years ago, I still love it. The only issue is in the industry that I'm working in, so many products. Do you know how many new products have been out since I started since I first used this product? So many. So many have been out. Um so what ends up happening is I just start using so many other things that products like this just end up sitting on the, sh the shelf because I'm so busy trying to use other things. Um, the second product that I love is the Eden Body Works. This is the all natural curl defining cream from their Coco Nut Shea line. And this is another one like I don't, I use it all the time. And in fact, I've used probably since I started using this product maybe two to three years ago, this is like my fourth or fifth container. This one is full. It's like my fourth or fifth container. You guys have heard me talk about the Eden Body Works Curl Defining Cream on many occasions, like in my product update videos and being empty videos. But yes, this is definitely one of those that I really, really love. And I love these two, especially in the summer, because they give me really good curl definition. And like I said, there are other products that I love, but 
in the summer months, these are the two that I would highly recommend for you to use in the summer because the curl definition is just amazing. So, yes, I hope I'm answering the question because I've gotten questions about these three different categories on so many occasions and I wanted to just be able to put it out there because I'm sure you guys all want to know. So please like this video, please give it a thumbs up if you did like it and of course if you have comments, definitely share those in the comment section and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And as always, I love you for watching. Bye.